What up YouTubers and Raid Terror players, welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel, the self-proclaimed European retro video games expert and moderator on the Dutch gaming website RaidTerrorPlayer.nl. Recently I got a lot of comments that go something like this. Now you've done it, you've wiped all the content on this N64 prototype. Wow, what a noob, he powered on the N64 prototype cartridge and all the data on it is gone. For some reason there is some fake news, some alternate fact going around that when you power on an N64 prototype cartridge it will wipe all the data on it and that's simply not true. So I'm here to debunk the myth. Let's go. Alright guys, so right now I've got Batman Returns, an N64 prototype in my N64 console. It's playing and let's do something stupid. Let's power off the console. No wait, let's reset it first. Oh, now I've done it. Oh, it's still on there. Well, let's push the reset button one more time. Whoa, still plays. Reset. It still plays. Well, let's power it off then. It's turned off. Oh my god. Now all the data on it is gone. Nope, it isn't. Plays perfectly fine. Let's power it off one more time. Oh, all the data on is it gone. Nope. Still plays fine. I did this with a lot more N64 prototypes and another bunch. And they all work fine. There's no problem here, people. You can play any N64 prototype you want. You can power it on. You can power it off. No problems here. So now that we have debunked the don't power on or off an N64 prototype myth, it's time to look at the sources of this misinformation. Where does it come from? In my opinion, there are two sources to blame eBay sellers and big YouTube channels that talk about N64 prototypes. Some eBay sellers won't show footage of an N64 prototype because it could erase the data. <coughs> Come on, <come> back, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, the real reason why they don't power it on or off is because A. The game doesn't have any differences, what could affect the value. Or B. It doesn't power on because it's a PAL prototype or an empty board. Big YouTube channels that are constantly pressured to upload new videos for their income don't check these facts, they claim to be experts and there you go. Fake N64 prototype information is spread around the community. So the next time a big YouTube channel with thousands of subscribers and with perfect video lightning, green screen effects and crystal clear audio claims to be an expert and warns you about erasing the content of an N64 prototype, you just laugh at them and give them a link to this small European self-proclaimed retro video games expert amateur channel. So, the, in, UK, in case you missed it, there was a moral lesson in this video. Just because somebody has thousands of subscribers and is successful, it doesn't mean that he or she is always telling the truth they could be spreading misinformation so yeah be a little more skeptical in general people uh, while you were looking at my test card I <laughs> or my prototype cartridge I was going through some prototypes that I have maybe the next time we'll upload in a uh, uh, collection my uh, my complete collection of n64 prototypes so um hope you enjoyed this video it was an information video spread love spread the information See you in the next video. Take care, guys.